What is going on guys? Welcome to another rebuilding video and in this one I'll be doing the Miami Heat. Their team is good enough to make it to the Eastern Conference Finals probably but I don't think they're good enough to win the NBA title or advance the NBA title. Look at this team here. The team is full of stars either at their prime or past their prime. They have one nice young piece. You got Justice Winslow. This is the future of the Miami Heat. But let's look at this team. We've got Dwayne Wade, they got Chris Bosch, Asai Whiteside, Goran Dragic, Luol Dang, Amari Stoudemire, Jill Green. Like, their team is up there in age. I want to get rid of probably Wade, Bosch, Dragic, Dang, everyone. Let's see their player contracts here. Chris Bosch, there's no way I'm going to pay him $27 million in a few years. Wade has a $20 million expiring deal. Dragic has almost $19 million in a few years. Dang has $10 million expiring. And Josh McRoberts is up there with five and a half, six million. Other than that, everyone's pretty much a one-year deal, cheap deals as well. So that's pretty much it's easy to work with here. So let's go with Wade. I can't trade Wade because there's no trade clause. So let's go right and trading Gordon Dragic. Let's see who I can get for this. I'm not gonna pay him four years at sixty-six million dollars for this guy. No chance in hell. So looking at the offers here, nothing really stands out to me except this uh, Chris Tapps, Przingis, and Robin Lopez deal. So I'm trading Dragic and Josh McRoberts to New York for Przingis and Robin Lopez, and I'll do that no problem. Now, next order of business. Let's get rid of Mr. Luol Dang. Who can I get? Who can I send him to? Dennis Schroeder. Tiago Smith, that'd be a nice deal. I actually might do that. Schroeder's a nice young point guard, only 22 years old, 76 overall. Oh, or I can get Kemba Walker. This got thrown a second round pick. Man, that's nice. That is a nice deal for both sides. Well, more, more likely for me. But anyways, let's see. Nothing else is really good for me standing out. Let's have a first round pick from Washington. Eh, I'm not going to do that. So let's do this Kemba Walker deal. Luol Dang and my 2018 second round pick to Charlotte for Kemba Walker. And hell yeah, I'm going to do that all day. Every single day I'll take that trade. So now I gotta get rid of Robert Lopez in his ugly four years, $54 million contract. I don't know who is gonna pay him that much money. What team is stupid enough to pay him that money? Let's see. Where should I get rid of him? Pack your bags. Where are you going? Uh, Dallas. Okay. Wilson Chandler, Budinger, Norris Cole, DeMar Carroll, Alan Crabb, Livingston, Gortat. Ah, okay. Who should I? Tim Hardaway Jr.? Nah. I'm going to do his Fournier deal. So Robin Lopez and Josh Richardson to Orlando for Evan Fournier and Channing Fry. Now getting rid of Channing Fry in his three-year, $23 million deal. I don't know what Orlando was thinking when they signed him that deal. So now i got to find another, <laughs> another dumb team to pick up another stupid contract. Where can I send Channing? Ooh, Portland. Okay, um... Uh... So I'm going to do this deal here. Channing Fry and Udonis Haslam send them to Portland for Tim Frazier and Alan Crabb. Pretty much a salary dump. Getting two young prospects here. Now the big deal. I'm trading, trading Chris Bosh in his massive four-year $98 million deal. Who's going to take on that? Let's see. Ed Davis. I can get Kevin Love. Anderson Verizhao. Okay, let's do that. Chris Bosh and Chris Anderson to Cleveland for Kevin Love and Anderson Verizhao. Done deal. Next, let's see what I can get for Kevin Love, if anything. <laughs> yeah, right. Kevin Love and his four-year $87 million deal. That's crazy. 84 overall. Okay, I should get something decent back here. Jennings, Kyle Lowry, DeMar Carroll. That's not a bad deal. I can get Dwight Howard and Terrence Jones. Oh, my goodness. Let's do that deal. Kevin Love and Amari Stoudemire. To Houston for Dwight Howard and Terrence Jones. And I'm going to jump all over that deal. Let's look at the starting five. We're at Kemba Walker. We got D. Wade, Justice Winslow, Kristaps Porzingis, and Dwight Howard with a very nice bench. Whiteside, Verizhal, Terrence Jones, Fournier, Mario Chalmers off the bench. So let's go right into the season here. Let's simulate the entire year. And I will see you guys at the end of the season. Showing you guys the uh, season awards. So Kevin Durant, of course, always wins the MVP. Jaleel Okafor, of course, wins the Rookie of the Year. Raja Rondo wins your sixth man. Anthony Davis, look at those numbers, gets Defensive Player of the Year, 27-13. Gerald Henderson gets Most Improved Player. Uh, playing time he has in Portland. And Greg Popovich going 65-17, gets Coach of the Year. 
Now, we made the playoffs. We went 15-32 in our first year. We were third in the East, playing the Pacers in the first round. Let's see who led the team in scoring here. Kemba Walker with 21, 4, and 9 assists with two steals. Wow. D Wade had 21, 4, and 7 assists. That's crazy. Dwight Howard with 6 to 8 weeks at 16, 10, and 2 blocks. Gerald Green had 13, 3, and 3 with 1.5 steals. Perzingis had 12 and 8 with 1.5 blocks. Terrence Jones had 10 and 6 with 1.5 blocks as well. Justice Winslow had 9, 5, and 5, a decent line. Marl Chalmers had 9, 2, and 6, and that's pretty much it. Okay, team stats, here we go. 15, 32, fifth best record in the league. Our offense was, uh, was 16th, and our defense... Our defense was second best. Unbelievable. That's crazy. Okay, so we're we'll second best defense in the league. Let's see how we do with the opening round against the 42 and 40 Pacers. We take game one, yet we lose game two on to game three, and we take game three. Come on. Ooh, and the series is tied up at two apiece. We lose a crucial game five, and we lose game six, and we are out of the playoffs in six games. And your eventual 2016 NBA champions are the Cleveland Cavaliers who beat the OKC Thunder in seven games. Your finals MVP, of course, is LeBron James, 25-8-7. And, and he ate the ball. This is a beast stat line. Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Vince Carter are your big names retiring. Coaches retiring are Paul Pressey and Elston Turner. Going to the Hall of Famer, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen. Steve Nash and Vince Carter. I don't have I don't have any draft picks, so let's go right into rookie signing. And here we go. Steve, no draft picks whatsoever. So team player options. So Dwight Howard accepted his player option of twenty-three million dollars. I'll I'll bring back James Ennis, but I'll let Anderson Verishaw walk. I'm not paying him ten year a ten million dollar salary, no chance in hell. Big name, big name declining. Tim Duncan, Paul Gasol, Dirk Nowitzki, and Ty Lawson. Let's go qualifying offers. I'll bring back everyone here: Jones, Fournier, and Crab. My free agents here. So Terrence Jones is walking, so I'll offer a contract to Wade, for, of course. Every Fournier, I'll keep bring him back. Uh, Tyler Johnson, I'll give you a contract. Verjao, no. Joe Green, no. Uh, no. Nah, screw it. Whiteside, how much do you want? How much is Whiteside asking? Eight million? That's not too bad. I'll give him a contract. And Dwayne Wade, one year, 11.8. I'll offer him a contract as well. Let's go to free agency here. So Fournier, Johnson, and Whiteside and Wade are all accepting. Whiteside still de de deciding what he wants to do here. So Dirk Nowitzki is out there. Dirk Nowitzki, Kobe, Luol Deng, Whiteside, Gordon. Let's give a deal to Dirk. One year. Let's give him what? 11. $11 million. Kobe's out there. One year. We'll give him 12. White side. Okay, let's go. Dang. Johnson, Hibbert. Nah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's get between. Why not? Two years, $5 million per season. So Dirk accepting their offer. Kobe wants to come to Miami. Dirk went to the Washington Wizards, really. Okay, so we got Kobe. We got a backup shooting guard for Wade. It's a deadly combination. So let's get Jeff Green. Two years, $6.3 million, And he signs. Okay. So this is all player progression. Um, we got Alan um, Crabb with a qualifying offer. 1.4 mil. Here we go. Colby went down one. Wade went down four. Walker went down one. Perzingis up three. Winslow up three. Fournier up one. Johnson up one. Ennis up one. And Crabb went up one as well. Let's go right into next season and see where they rank us in the rank. Here we go. 2K Sports has us at seventh. Mark Spears has us at 12th. And NBA.com has us way down there at 28th. Wow. Okay. So once again, I'm going to sim it the entire year. And let's see where we are in the standings and if we make the playoffs. So... It's at the trade deadline here, and I want to get DeMarcus Cousins, but I need a decent trade piece, and that trade piece is going to be Frank Kamensky. So here we go. I'm going to give up Jeff Green. It's so one for one for Frank Kamensky. Jeff Green going to Charlotte. We're getting Frank Kamensky back. Here we go. I'm going to give up Dwight Howard, Frank Kamensky. They're going, both going to the Kings. I'm getting DeMarcus Cousins. I don't care. I want DeMarcus Cousins. And they'll throw in this guy, 
Dukin, Dukan, Dukin. I don't know how to say his name. Anyways, it's not important. The most important is my trade. Here we go. I'm going to get my 2017 first round pick. And that should be good enough to get DeMarcus Cousins, I believe. No, it's not. They want more. They are greedy people over there in Sacramento. I throw another draft pick and yet a 2020 draft pick and they accept that offer. Three first round picks. Frank Kaminsky. And there it is. DeMarcus Cousins is gone. It's in our team. Dwight Howard is gone. We got DeMarcus Cousins. Unbelievable. Let's do this, guys. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Here we go. Kevin Durant again wins your MVP. Ben Simmons is your rookie of the year. Kobe Bryant, our own Kobe Bryant, gets NBA's sixth man of the year. And DeAndre Jordan is your defensive player of the year. D'Angelo Russell gets most improved. Look at those numbers. Wow. And coach of the year goes to Fred Hoiberg. We went 56 and 26. Now we had a miserable year this year. We went 31 and 51. Pretty much a reversal of what we did last year. Leading the way our team was DeMarcus Cousins with 19, 12, 4 assists and 2 blocks. Wow. Campbell Walker at 16, 4 and 7 with 2 steals. Kobe at 15, 5 and 4 with a steal. D Wade at 15, 3 and 6 with a steal and a block. Porzingis at 13, 11 and 2 blocks. Winslow had 9, 6 and 3 with a steal. Fournier had 7, 2 and 2, and that's pretty much it. Going to team stats here, once again with 31 and 51. This is a abysmal year. Our offense was 21st, and our defense was absolutely horrendous. The fifth worst in the league. So let's go right into the playoffs here. Similar to the entire year. Who's going to be your 2017 NBA champions? And it looks like we got OKC against Washington. And OKC win once again in seven games, being... The Wash sorry, OKC wins beats Washington in seven games to take the NBA title. Kevin Durant is your MVP of the finals. Here's your players tiring. Tim Duncan, Dirk Nowitzki, Rashard Lewis, David West, and that's pretty much it. What a long list though. Look at that. Coach retiring are Bob Weiss, George Carl, Rick Carlisle, Terry Stotts, Ron Adams, and Kurt Rambis. Go to the Hall of Famer, Tim Duncan and Dirk Nowitzki. Now, once again, I have no draft picks. So I'm going right to rookie signing. Maybe we have a second round pick somewhere there. Something to sign. No, we don't. Team player options. Perzingis and Winslow, I will definitely bring back. But Elliott, I'm going to let walk. He's a 57 overall. He's 23 years old. No chance. Big name declining is Greg Monroe. I'll bring back Johnson. I'll bring back James Ennis. My free agents are, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, LeBron James out there. LeBron James is out there. I'm going to offer him whatever he wants. I'll sign Gobert in case I don't get LeBron. I'll sign Wade too in case I don't get LeBron. This is my backup package. So we got LeBron James. We got LeBron James. I don't believe it. I'm done. This is all I wanted. I'm out of here <laughs> as soon as I can. Player progression. We got LeBron. I can't believe it. We're a beast team now with James and Cousins. James down one, Cousins down one. Persingas up two, Wizzle up two. Bryant went down three, Walker went down two. I don't believe it. We have Kemba, DeMarcus, and LeBron. That's absolutely crazy. 2K has that for number one. Mark Spears has this at number one. And NBA.com has us at dead last at 30th overall. That is absolutely nuts. Let's see this starting five. Kemba, Kobe, LeBron, James. Perzingis and DeMarcus Cousins. Are you kidding me? We are going to be unstoppable this year. So let's go right into the year here. Similar to the entire year. I'm feeling really good about this team. I will see you guys at the end of the season. Our LeBron James wins most valuable player 24 7 and 7. Harry Giles wins NBA Rookie of the Year, 60 and 10 with two blocks. Kyle Anderson gets sixth man of the year. DeAndre Jordan again wins Defensive Player of the Year. And Kyle Anderson also wins Most Improved Player. Never seen that before. Two awards to one player. And going 49-33, Fred Hoiberg wins Coach of the Year once again. We Our record was better than that. We got robbed. We got absolutely robbed. We had the, probably the best record in the league, 56 and 26, the one seed in the East, and we didn't win Coach of the Year. That's absolutely nuts. LeBron James led the way. 
Oh, DeMarcus Cousins is out four to six weeks. LeBron had 24-7-7, like I said. DeMarcus had 20-13, five assists and two blocks. We're going to miss that in the playoffs. Oh, my goodness. Kemba Walker had 14-2-5. Porzingis had 13-11-2 blocks. Kobe had 13-4-4. Winslow had 9-6-3. and And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Team stats. Look at this. The best record in the league. 56-26. Our offense was number two. And our defense slipped quite a bit in the middle of the pack there. Here we go. Game one of the opening round. Playing the Milwaukee Bucks. We take game one. We lose game two. Game three goes to the Bucks. Are you serious? We lose game four down 3 1. Oh my god. We win game five. We win game six. Can we come all the way back? And we win game seven. We're playing the Pacers in the second round. Game one gets the 49 30. We lost them to the last year to the Pacers, but we're up 2 0 in the series here. We lose game three, up 2 1 in the series. We win game four. Can we finish them off at home? And we do. And we play the Chicago Bulls in the Eastern Conference Final. Do we have the Marcus Cousins back? No, we don't. He's still out a couple more weeks. We need another, another, another like a seven-game series here, hopefully, so we can get him back for the NBA Finals. We have no other Marcus Cousins the whole way so far. Game one against the Bulls. We win it. And game two, we lose game two. 1-1 one, one is the series. We're up 2-1. Can we get game? Yes, we're up 3-1 in the series. Finish them off. Ooh, Bulls win game five. Game six, and we win it, and we are playing the Golden State Warriors, the six-seeded Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals. That's, that's crazy. We got DeMarcus Cousins back. We are locked and loaded for the Golden State Warriors. I am ready to play Golden State. Who does Golden State have on their team? I'm sure they still have um, uh, still have Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, but haven't made any other roster moves to report. Let's check out their roster here. So you got Thompson, Curry, and Nick Young. And Draymond Green and Contavious Colwell Pope. Ryan Hollins. Harrison Barnes is done for the season. Oh boy. They have, where's Bogut? They don't have nobody. How do they make the playoffs? How do they make it this far? They're 43 and 39. We lose game one, though. We win game two. 1 1 is a series. We're down 2 1. Are you serious? We're down 3 1. How? We win game five. Okay. Game six. We're going seven, people. Let's go Let's go submit with Simcast. Oh, my goodness. Game seven at home. We're down big in the first quarter already. I don't know how we're losing. All they have is Clay Thompson and Steph Curry. Okay. Going to have... This is a very, very defensive game here, surprisingly, with two explosive offenses here. It's going back and forth. Look at this. 60-60 midway through the fourth quarter. Are you kidding me? Guys, look at the score. It is a <laughs> defensive nail biter to say the least. Look at a 79 to 70 with a minute 22. I'm stopping simulation. I'm continuing it. Like a, I'm, look at this. 84-83 with 35 seconds to go. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to jump in here. I'll let Marv Albert take this game away. Here's Jackson. 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Green, the screen. Jackson kicks to Curry. On the wing, Green. And no good. And a chance to take the lead. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management is crucial at this time of the game. Two. They've got LeBron James. Porzingis is out there with DeMarcus Cousins. And there's Bryant. And it's Johnson in a point. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Johnson against Curry. It's good. This game is all even. I mean, he was great in his last game, Clark. And clearly, he has not lost that love and feel. And here's Kobe for three. Oh, it's no good. And we're headed to overtime. Regulation is ended and we're heading to overtime. Back after this from the American Air...
Well, if you love great competition and neck-to-neck -neck basketball action, this one has been a great one. Overtime number one. Getting going right now. So Golden State will get the first possession. So the overtime period is now ticking away. Should be fun. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. On the floor for Miami, they've got Kobe. DeMarcus Cousins out there with Porzingis. Then it's Johnson, and it's LeBron in at the three. And the foul on Tyler Johnson. That is his first foul of the game. On defense, the Heat. And that will be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. Risky pass in a situation like that. Very lucky that wasn't a steal. Fortunate to get it through. I thought he was headed the other way with that one. Outside, Green. Curry with a wide open look. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Boy, the defenders have to make sure they tag it. And finished off by LeBron. Incredible timing on the alley-oop. He absolutely hammered it down. And guys, mark that play right there because that could be the one that leads to a surge to break this thing wide open. Thompson outside. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. 16 points for Klay Thompson. Curry with the steal. Iguodala outside. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Checking out the game Andre Iguodala is having. He's got eight points and he's pickpocketed the ball five times. That free throw missing. And they're having a lot of trouble at the line today. And unfortunately, it's the kind of day we've seen this team have a lot. Missed a chance to put them up three. That's going to affect how they set up on defense this trip now. It's LeBron with the drive. As we saw, four quarters not enough. We're just over a minute into overtime. Here's Persingas. Can't get it to go. And Golden State will come the other way. In the corner, Iguodala with it. And he goes big time with the dunk right over Kobe Bryant. And guys, this game won't be close for long if they keep giving up dunks like that. No, it won't, G.A. You're right. A glaring air defensively and letting them get all the way to the basket that time. But it's only two points. I mean, it was flashy, no doubt. But still, it only counts for two. Two is all. And that was Kia bringing you the close-up on the big-time play. There's a screen. And stolen by James. Jumps up. It's a big dunk at the end of the break. Quick <laughs> hands on the steal. And then just mad hops on the slam. Great sequence for them defensively and Clark offensively. Well, one usually leads to the other, Kevin. That's just good, aggressive, attacking basketball both of them. Iguodala, that's good. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. And the Heat call time here. The Heat trail by three. LeBron passes to Cousins. And the jump to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Great game for him. Double, double down. 11 points and 19 rebounds. Timeout called the Warriors. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Steve Kerr was saying to the team. He made sure that everyone was on the same page and that the offense needed to run through Stephen Curry. Their offense is most effective, Coach said, when he is most involved. And they're looking for total involvement from him for the rest of this game. Even in overtime, they're still willing to shake things up. Certainly a bold move at this point in the game, Kevin. All right, Doris. LeBron dishes to Cousins. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. 
And how about the agility coming from the big man? I mean, that's not something we often see from him. You know, it's never going to be Greg at 360 dunk when he goes up with it, but it will be two points. We do know that. <laughs> you know, you can sacrifice a little athleticism when you've got the size he does. The drive by LeBron. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. That's going to send LeBron James to the line. They get Stephen Curry. It's been a solid outing for LeBron. He's got 13 rebounds and some big-time point production as well. He's really opened up things for his passing by having so much success from the three-point line. A double threat, really, in a big way today. Timeout called the Warriors. They're down by four. 157 left in overtime. To the inside. Shot is good, and the Heat's lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Andre Igudala. Heat have gotten themselves off to a terrific start here in overtime, hitting six of their first seven shots. James, the pass to Persingas. Back to LeBron. To the paint. And there's Demarcus Cousins on the assist by James. Cousins has got the lead up to four now for the Heat. Golden State's gone two for two on their three-point shot since we started overtime. Something they might want to stick with. Here's Curry with the three, and he gets it to go. Curry's got 28 points for the game. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hand. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Puts up the baby hook and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Udo picks one up. Good on the first, and that will put them up by two. <laughs> and so both free throws are good. And it's a three-point game. And you really can't say enough about his composure in the big moments, as cool as they come. Curry. And James pulls it down. LeBron's got rebound number 13 with that last one. It's stolen by Curry. Now the dish to Thompson. It's in! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. As clutch a shot as I have ever seen. In a word, gutsy. And there's the call on James. That's foul number two for him. That makes it four turnovers for him now. He's just been lazy with the ball in his hands, fellas. Golden State's got nothing but success from long range in overtime. They've knocked down four straight three-pointers to start the period. They kick it out to Green. Off target from outside. James outside. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Yeah, good job to take it right at the knee. Yeah, really left him no choice there, Greg. He had the foul and keeps him from converting the easy buffer. He knocks down the clutch free throw. Second one is good. Bring both at the line, and it's a two-point ball game. And how about the composure there at the line? A ton of pressure on those free throws, and he knocks them both down. They set the pick. Here's Iguodala. Yes! A huge shot to tie it up. One after the other. Andre Iguodala getting it done. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Yeah, it's been really sloppy out there. Focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. Boy, is it tough to stop LeBron right now. Timeout called the Warriors. They're trailing by two. 17 seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. And here is Iguodala. Back to Curry. Shoots. Ooh, off one. And they go to the intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. 
He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Oh, and it's over. The Miami Heat are the new NBA champions. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together enjoying Clark this NBA championship moment. Well, Kevin, it's awesome to be here to witness what happened tonight. And seeing this team come together over the course of the season and on into the playoffs, what a joy. I mean, there is no better champion the league could have asked for. And a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. Good night, everyone. There you have it guys, that's my Miami Heat rebuild the video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below what team you want to see me do next. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.